Today, I want to make a full breakdown of the situation that currently we have on NZD USD. Now, the reason for which I want to speak specifically about NZD USD is that number one, it is a very interesting pair to follow for a potential trading opportunity in the near future. And number two, the analysis that I can perform at the moment on NZD USD will bring a lot of value to you, both from a technical perspective when it comes to your skills in analyzing the market from a multi time frame technical analysis perspective, and also when it comes to reading the order flow. So the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. And obviously, we will be able to understand where is the best zone to be looking for a potential opportunity and where are the best probabilities at the moment for this pair. So let's start our full breakdown, both from the first, actually from the technical perspective, and then we will move to the order flow. And by the end of the video, you will know which zone you can you have to be looking for a potential training opportunity on NZD USD for the best probabilities. Now let's start from the monthly time frame. Now at the moment, what do we have from a monthly perspective? On the monthly, we have a market that created a nice impulse to the downside, followed by this correction and then the continuation to the downside for the creation of a lower low. And after that, the market went back up and currently the market has just tested a very important supply area. In fact, from here, the market had started all this move to the downside. Then again, the market here tested and rejected this very important supply area to the downside. And lately, the market has been testing and rejecting this extremely strong supply area to the downside. Now, if we look at the market also from a pattern perspective, what we can see, we can see an impulse correction, lower low and equal high. Now, in general, after an impulse correction, lower low and equal high, what you expect is for the market to give you a move to the downside to then create and complete this inverted head and shoulders, meaning that at the moment, what we need from here is a wave to the downside to then start the move to the upside for the completion of this inverted head and shoulders. But first, we would like to see the market create a nice wave to the downside. So on the monthly, everything looks bearish and the market has already started the move to the downside that we would like to see. Going down on the weekly, what do we have? Now, from a weekly perspective, situation is extremely interesting as well. In fact, what we can see is that at the moment, the market is testing quite strong weekly resistance. In fact, why do we have resistance at this area? Now, this zone was acting as very strong resistance here. The market broke it to the upside, went for a retest at that point. This previous resistance is not support. The market rejected it to the upside and then broke back down at that point. This structure is again turned resistance and the market broke below it, retested it and already started rejecting it to the downside, meaning that from a weekly perspective, the pattern that we have is an impulse and correction pattern from which we expect the next impulse to the downside, rejecting this previous support now turn resistance. That is a very important structure level. Another thing that we can see from a weekly perspective is that in general, if you have an impulse and you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the high to the low of this impulse, what we can see is that the market stopped exactly inside of the area in between the 50% and 0.618 of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse, which is the zone at which we expected the market to a test and get rejected from the first place. Why? Because the 50% is lining up perfectly with this structure that we have already identified, therefore creating a confluence of resistance from which we can expect the continuation to the downside. Going down on the daily, what do we see? Now, first of all, we had spoken about NZD USD quite a lot of times in the past. In fact, we spoke about NZD USD when the market was here, and I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see the market create a lower low. And that is, in fact, exactly what the market did. Then I made another breakdown on NZD USD explaining all the reasons for, for which from the market when the market was here, we wanted to see the market create a nice move to the upside and then the continuation to the downside for the creation of the lower low. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then after the creation of this W formation, I made another breakdown on NZD USD, explaining all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see the market create this move to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then I spoke about NZD USD after this W formation, explaining all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see the drop to the downside. And again, 
That is exactly what the market did. And then I spoke about NZDUSD also after the market had created this daily and weekly information. So when the market was here and I explained all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see a move to the upside break back down. And that is in fact exactly what the market did. And currently, since then, the market has been remaining inside of this range. And at the moment, what is the situation from a daily perspective? Now, by the way, you find all this previous analysis linked in the description. You find everything linked below. You can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. But what is the situation at the moment? Since the market from here has remained inside of this, it has remained inside of this range, what kind of price action has the market developed? Now, at the moment, the situation is actually quite clear. In fact, what the market created is in M formation, up, down, up, and down. Now, in general, after an M formation, what you want to see is the market complete the pattern at the neckline, aka the previous support, which is now turn resistance, before the continuation to the downside, meaning that at the moment, from a daily perspective, we are facing daily resistance. So at the moment, situation is very clear. Monthly, weekly, and daily are bearish, and we would like to see from here the market create a rejection to the downside and start the move to the downside that we would like to see already from a monthly perspective, as we have said at the beginning of the analysis. Now let's go and see what we have from a COT perspective on the NZD. So what hedge funds and non-commercials are basically doing on a despair. Now keep in mind that if you check the NZD, you are actually already checking NZD USD. The reason for this is that a all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you check the data for the NZD, you are actually already checking NZD USD. And what we can see? Now we can see that with the last report, actually we have more longs getting added than shorts. In fact, we have 3.4K longs getting added and 2K shorts, which is definitely not good for our short overall view of NZD USD as we have just seen from a technical perspective. In fact, we have 6.4K net positions, which is an increase from the 3.3K that we had here, that went then, then it basically it went to 5K and then again to 6.4K. So definitely we have an increasing in net positions and more longs and shorts getting added. So definitely not good for our short setup. But that is not a problem. Why it is not a problem? Because as usual, in the market, we have to be reactive. We cannot be predictive. And the monthly, weekly, and daily are the best time frames when it comes to the direction of the market. But the best time frame to look for confirmations and entry is the four hours. So what we can do is wait for these longs to get closed and some proper shorts getting added, which is what should happen inside of this area. However, we have no confirmation for that. So what do we have to do? We have to go down on the four hour time frame F and we have to wait for proper confirmations that will show us that this is actually what is happening, that hedge funds have started proper shorting and closing the lungs. And at the moment, we don't see that because we can see that this structure at the moment is all bullish. The market has been creating higher highs and higher lows without showing any sign of confirmations. So what we will be doing with students, with students, we will be monitoring price action from a four hour perspective inside of this area. And we will be waiting for the market to clearly shift from a bullish market as it is right now to a bearish market. So only after the market will shift from a bullish to a bearish market, at that point, we will add NZDUSD to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries with students, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities for the move to the downside and for the market to complete the moves to the downside that we would like to see from the monthly, weekly and daily time frame. However, if everything will remain bullish as it is right now, we definitely cannot be looking for the short because the market will easily break above the structure. Obviously, if everything remains as it is right now on the four hours, then at that point, we will simply adapt to the new market structure and as traders always be adaptive to the ever changing market conditions. And I will also try to keep you guys updated on all our platforms 
if I will find the time to do that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. You find it linked in the description. You first learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies in the program, and then you trade them live with me. In fact, every single day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry, stops, take profits as well as having me answering every single question that you have every day, including the weekends. So I really suggest you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in.